So yesterday on this channel, I made a video about Alyssa Milano and her hypocritical silence surrounding Tara Reid and her allegations against Joe Biden. The long story short of that video, go check it out. But the long story short is that Alyssa Milano was a champion of the Me Too movement, which was predicated on helping women levy allegations against powerful men because at the end of the day, the media and the legal system has always been balanced in favor of those rich powerful white men and almost never ever in favor of regular women when they bring their accusations. So whether we're talking about men in Hollywood or in the corporate world or in politics, Time's Up and Me Too was supposed to be there for those women. Alyssa Milano, however, and so many like her, were ignoring Tara Reid in her allegations against Joe Biden, the very sort of man that's often unaccountable in these sort of matters. The very sort of man who, by virtue of his long term as a senator, his term as a vice president, the fact that he's assumed by many to be the Democratic nominee for president, basically puts him above the law and allows him to get away with things that violate the basic human dignity of other people, especially women. And Alyssa Milano and so many other Biden supporters that ostensibly cared about women's rights and women's dignity when Brett Kavanaugh was the subject of focus were radio silent. And yet today she did an interview with Andy Cohen, you know, from Bravo, the, the founder of the Real Housewives TV series about these allegations. And I'm going to play you a clip and then we're going to talk about how revolting all of it was. And I just don't feel comfortable throwing away a decent man that I've known for 15 years yep. um, in this in this time of complete chaos without there being um, a thorough investigation. Yep. I'm sure that um, mainstream media would be jumping all over this um, as well if if you know if they we oh, or yeah, if, they if there was something. more if there was more credible if there was evidence you know, if, that was if they found more evidence or, or through it. their investigate so i'm just kind of staying quiet about it and yeah because i'm staying quiet about it um you bernie were getting supporters. dragged on twitter by bernie bros right they're they're calling me hypocritical for for you know and saying that i'm a fake feminist and all of this all of this wow. stuff and i'm still i'm still trying desperately to to you know to stand back and be sort of objective about this so what you heard there was an excerpt from the Andy Cohen, Alyssa Milano interview. I'm going to put up a link to the video so you can watch the whole thing. You can get the whole context. But in general, what Alyssa Milano was saying is that her silence was based upon the fact that she doesn't really know a whole lot about this story. She's not really sure what to say. But then in the clip that I show you specifically, she makes the point that if this was a real story, Story, the media wouldn't be ignoring it that because it's being ignored by sources like MSNBC and CNN, as we discussed last night, it must be the case that the story is wrong or that there are severe doubts or that there are credibility issues, quote unquote, or that the sources are unreliable, quote unquote. And that's why the you know story is being ignored. That's why Tara Reid is being ignored, all of which is to say that she is saying, I don't believe her. She is uncredible. Joe Biden is innocent, which basically amounts to, I don't believe all women. I don't believe this woman in this particular instance, at least. And you can see Andy Cohen basically feeding this along. And he has the absolute freaking gall to suggest that the people wanting accountability and consistency from one of the leaders of the Me Too movement, Alyssa Milano, this is not a regular person. This is a very wealthy and influential actress who has taken a leadership role in this movement, demanding that we hear from her on this issue and demanding that we get a consistent response. We were dragging her, quote unquote, as Bernie bros. Because after all, people who want justice for women like Tara Reid and women like Christine Ford 
are just Bernie bros at the end of the day. People who want powerful men held to account when they do awful things to women were just Bernie bros at the end of the day. At least when the man being accused is on the team of Andy Cohen and Alyssa Milano. It was a despicable interview. It was a despicable attempt to basically say that Tara Reid is not believable, that she's lying, that the accusations are false without necessarily saying those words because they know how bad it would look. So they basically skirt around that with innuendo, basically using this clip to discredit Tara Reid, to exalt Joe Biden, to attack Bernie Sanders and his supporters, and basically try to bury this story. And it's not a coincidence that Alyssa Milano broke her silence on this story via an interview like this. It's almost as if it's scripted. It's almost as if, you know, Andy Cohen was asked, hey, Alyssa Milano wants to cover her tracks on this story because she realizes she looks goddamn awful right now. Can you help her out? Let's script together an interview. Let's choreograph this thing where we can basically trample over Tara Reid and women like her without saying that directly. And so therefore, Alyssa Milano can link back to this interview whenever there are legitimate criticisms of her and quote unquote feminists like her who refuse to hold Joe Biden to account. And this will be her record. So whenever she gets questions now, she's going to be like, well, I'm not silent. I had a very, very frank, quote unquote, interview with Andy Cohen, where we discussed how maybe this person isn't credible. And if they were credible, the mainstream media would cover it. It is a ridiculous claim from both her and Andy Cohen here. The idea that, you know, this is just Bernie bros whining or the idea that the media not covering it means that the story must be false or must have severe credibility issues. This is what they think will work to stop this story, but it's not going to work. This story is not going away. Alyssa Milano's hypocrisy being pointed out is not going to go away. And if they think that they can get this past the general election, they're wrong. They might be able to get this past the primary. And I think that's goal number one, because goal number one for the rich and wealthy and well-connected is stopping Bernie Sanders. After that, they're playing with house money. They might prefer Biden. They might prefer Trump. But the real threat to the rich and wealthy and well-connected will be dispatched. But this story is not going away before November. It really isn't. And I don't care that the accusations against Trump in many ways are worse because Republicans will use this to demotivate the progressive base. That's what it's going to do. And you can't blame people when they say, look at what Joe Biden has done to women and look at what Donald Trump has done to women. I don't particularly want to vote for either of these men. I'm not going to blame a single person who says that and nor should anybody else. So save this interview, guys, because it is exhibit A of the hypocrisy from neoliberal Biden supporters when it comes to the quote unquote believe women movement, because short of directly saying it, this was basically an interview to totally demean and discredit the character of Tara Reid and women like her. It is absolutely despicable and we have to stand against it.